वेलकम ऑल नाउ वी विल डिस्कस द मेमोरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव वन विद इन दिस वी विल डिस्कस इंटरनल मेमोरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज वेल एज हाउ टू इंटरफेस एक्सटर्नल मेमोरी टू एट जीरो फाइव वन नाउ फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस इंटरनल मेमोरी वी नो दैट देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ मेमोरी दैट इज रैम एंड रॉम फर्स्ट वील डिस्कस इंटरनल रैम now we know that in 8051 there is 128 byte of internal ram that internal ram is split now this is the structure of internal ram it is split into three part first one is register pan second one is bit addressable ram and third one is a scratch pad now first we will discuss first part that is a register pan internal ram having four register bank that is bank 0 bank 1 bank 2 and bank 3 now each bank having eight register that is r0 to r7 in this fashion each bank having eight register there is four banks and each register eight register each and in this fashion 4 into 8 is nothing but 32 bit 32 registers that's why we are saying here there are 32 8 bit register arranged in four groups and they are using as general purpose register now these register banks are having four banks that is bank 0 bank 1 bank 2 and bank 3 out of four bank only one bank is active at a time and now which bank is active that is depends upon R S zero and R S one bit of P S W that is program status word. In program status word, there are two bits that is R S zero and R S one. Based on these two bits, you are selecting one of the bank. Now two bits means four combinations are possible. First combination is zero zero. When both are zero zero, that time bank zero is selected. and that location is from 00 to 07h when you are placing rs0 and rs1 as 01 in that situation register bank 1 is selected which is physically located at 08 to 0fh location when you are placing rs0 and rs1 as a 10 in that case you are you are interested in register bank 2 which is physically located at 10h to 17h and when rs0 and rs1 is 11 under that case you are interested in register bank 3 which is physically located at 18h to 1fh in this fashion you can choose any bank as per your application means at a time only one of the bank is active mode all of you agree for this now what is use of this bank now this bank having seven or uh, eight register each now these registers you are using to holding the data suppose you are performing one of the action for example addition in that case you want to operand or two data suppose you are preserving into one of the register for example you are just writing the instruction add r4 comma r3 is one of the data is in r4 and one of other data is in r3 you want to take the data from these two registers inside the alu perform the addition operation and then you are placing the result in one of the register this is the simplest way other than that suppose instead of storing the result inside the internal memory suppose you are preserving data into the external memory in that situation processor must send the address of external memory location then controller will send the control signal either it is read or write action you want to perform and then actual data is moving from the external memory inside the cpu and it take much more time this first it will send the address then control signal and then actual data is moving from the one of the memory location to 
CPU means inside the ALU. Then it is passed to ALU for perform the action. Once the action is over, again result generated and that result you want to place into the external memory. Again you are sending the address where you want to reserve, preserve the result. Then you are sending the control signal that is right. And then you are just sending the result and then that result will be placed at that particular location. And in this fashion, it takes much more time and sp speed reduce. To avoid that, we want internal RAM locations to preserve the data and, and for that purpose we are taking help of these banks to preserve the data inside the core itself which is more convenient to access the data as well as hold the result okay in this fashion this register bank support for holding the data as well as result now next look uh, next uh, section is bid addressable RAM now there are 16 bytes uh, now these are the bit accessible area that is 20 to 2f that is 16 bytes are there now bit accessible means here each byte you can use byte wise otherwise bit wise byte means 8 bits and bit means single bit okay means you can use individual bit independently Either you can set or clear as per your requirement. For example, suppose you want to turn on fan. In that case, 1 means on and 0 means off. Similar ways, in some application, you want to turn on the lamp. In that situation, 1 means on and 0 means off. In that case, we want single bit, either on or off. Not needed that 8 bits at a time. And to preserve that or to save other bits, you are just uh, doing action on a single location, single bit. And in that case, you are taking help of this bit accessible area. Means for example, washing machine, microwave one, you want to turn on and off. You are not doing anything else. You want to turn on and off. In that situation, we are just sending either 1 or 0, not FF and a 0, 0 like that. In, in, this, in that case, you are using bit accessible area where individual bit you can control as per your choice and that is mentioned here 8051 has 16 byte of RAM which is bit accessible in this area any of 128 bits here 16 bytes means 16 into 8 bits byte is nothing but 8 bits that's why 16 into 8 bit is nothing but 128 bits are available for us which can individually you can set or clear independently without disturbing others. And in this fashion, you can control 128 bits separately as per your application point of view. The next part is scratch pad. Now, this uh, third uh, group is scratch pad that is 2F to 7F. Total 18 locations are available for scratch pad. We are taking help of this scratch pad for writing the customer program. Here you can write your program, edit the program, delete the program as per your requirement. Means this area, this area you are using for, as a scratch pad which is internally available inside the code. In this fashion we discuss that internal RAM having total 128 bytes out of that there is there are three sections. First one is register bank. There are four banks are there. Each bank having seven registers. Each bank uh, out of four banks, one of the bank is active. Depends upon status of RS0 and RS1 which is available in program status. Program status word. Next, the next area is bit accessible. Individual bit you can control as per your demands then third part is the scratch pad area where we can write your program uh, edit the program delete the program as per the our requirement it is working as a scratch pad area next part is internal ROM now we know that ROM is nothing but read only memory it is non-volatile memory non-volatile memory non-volatile memory means even power is off, the data preserved as it is. Means dedicate data as well as 
dedicated code you are preserving in, inside the prompt for example our operating system now internal rom is only 4k that is four zeros up to four zero f f f h that is only 4k is internal rom suppose this rom is not sufficient to handle the dedicated data as well as dedicate code in that situation you can use external rom also and maximum you can vary up to 64k because our 8051 having 16 bit address line we know that address line are how many address line according to that that many memory we can access for example suppose there are only two address lines you can access only four locations whose address is 00, 01, 10 and 11 suppose there are three address lines we can access uh, eight locations that is varying from 000 to 111 in this fashion there are 16 address pins and that's why 2 raised to 16 is nothing but 64k memory uh, 8051 can access that is varying from 4 zeros to 4 f now uh, either you are accessing code from internal memory or external memory that is decided by ea pin long form of ea pin is external access this is active low pin when this pin is grounded that time you are accessing data from external memory and when this pin is connected to VCC you are accessing the data or code from internal ROM means with the help of EA you can declare you are referring internal memory or external memory EA is equal to 0 means external memory EA is equal to 1 means internal memory is it clear to you ok then next point now we already cover internal memory, internal RAM as well as internal ROM. Now suppose internal memory is not sufficient in that situation we are going for external memory. Okay. Now first one by one we will discuss uh, code memory and then data memory. External program memory is nothing but your external code memory interfacing with 8051 when this type of question asked in the university exam describe memory organization that time describe internal memory and along with that describe the external memory also and that time just draw this interfacing diagram in this case this is our 8051 this is EPROM that is electrical program uh, ROM read only memory now you are interfacing these two devices with the help of various type of buses we know that there are three types of bus address bus control bus and data bus out of that initially suppose uh, we, uh, ea pin now this ea pin what do you mean by ea pin external access this is this pin is connected to ground it means that we are taking the code from the external memory that is clear okay after that you are sending the address from which you want to access the code and for that that address you are sending through port number 0 and port number 2 lower byte through port 0 and higher byte from port 2 now this port 0 carrying data also initially you are sending your address that address is on p0 port and p2 port after that you are giving the control signal that is ALE address latch enable this is the latch now the purpose of latch is to hold the address because same bus you are using for carrying the data also and that's why you want to make this bus free and for that purpose you want to latch the address into the latch register and that's why you are giving the signal address latch enable when address latch enable is given that time whatever at lower byte of address is on this bus is latched into this buffer and then it is given to the output device means in this fashion this latch providing lower byte this is providing higher byte in this fashion total a0 to a15 address is available means total 16 bits are available according to that particular location get identified inside the EPRO. now 
after that you are just doing the next action that is you want to read from the EPROM and for that you are taking help of next control signal that is PSEN that is program stroke enable pin this is connected to output enable pin okay output OE pin that is output enable when this pin is activated output enable is activated and that time the take the data from the identified location and it is passed on the data bus output enable that is outputted through this port and it is coming inside the 8051 inside the accumulator in this fashion the data is coming from the external memory through the p0 port and coming into the accumulator in this fashion in this fashion you are just initially connecting ea bar to ground means it is accessing from the external memory then you are sending the lower byte address higher byte by address on p2 then you are giving the ale signal with the help of address latch enable signal address gate latched into the buffer along with this lower byte and higher byte total 16 bits are created which identify one of the location that is first part second part you are generating the control signal that is PSEN bar is active which is connected to OE bar output enable means you are interested to output the data and that's why the data from the identified location pass on a data bus data bus is nothing but p0 port through that this data uh, data bus it through port 0 it is coming into the accumulator and then proceed to the alu for next action next regarding external data memory interface with 8051 now our task is to take the data from the external memory and for that first you are sending the address address lower byte on p0 port higher byte through p2 port okay then you are giving the which signal address latch enable signal when address latch enable signal is given at that time data lower byte is latched into this buffer this uh, lower byte along with higher byte it is creating 16 byte 16 bit address and through which one of the location gate identified okay now address uh, location gate identified now next task is set the control signal as per our choice suppose we want to write something into the external uh, RAM in that situation we are just activating write action and that time data is moving from accumulator through port 0 it is coming to this particular location and in other case suppose we want to read something that time we are activating the read signal which is connected to OE bar means output enable at that situation as per the read action uh, take the data from that identified location and through this data bus means through port 0 it is coming inside the accumulator then proceed to ALU for the further action in this fashion you are receiving as well as you are writing transmitting data or receiving data through this port 0 because it is a parallel communication all of you agree for this part okay now during next lecture we will discuss interrupt structure of 8051 thank you